The AIBI Fashion Lab is equipped with a Gerber Accumark computer pattern making system. This is available to use by our members with a day pass or monthly access. You can get passes through the online booking system at AIBI.com. Please make sure to only use this system if you have experience with it. The machinery is delicate and can easily be damaged. If something breaks, or won't work right, stop using the machine and clearly place the emergency tent on top. Let the monitor on duty or other AIBI staff know that something has gone wrong. The Gerber Accumark version 10 system is used to create digital patterns and markers. Our system consists of a digitizer, plotter, and three computer programs. Pattern design, easy marking, and AccuMark Explorer. If you have digital patterns or markers that you want to print on paper, you can use a plotter. The plotter is a delicate piece of equipment. Keep food and drinks away at all times. This lever controls the pinch rollers. Make sure it is pushed down before you begin plotting. The front cover can be lifted to check ink cartridges and guide paper through, but it must be closed while plotting. The control panel allows you to perform manual functions like changing out the ink cartridge or advancing paper. You make selections using the arrow, menu, and enter buttons. The feed roll bar holds the remaining paper. The take-up bar winds up your printed paper to keep it off the floor. Before making any changes to the paper, make sure the plotter is turned off. The power switch is located on the back left side of the plotter. Remove the feed roll bar and place on a flat surface. You will need to remove one end cap from the feed roll bar. Do this by turning the small handle counterclockwise. You can then remove the empty cardboard roll. Remove the plastic packaging and plastic end caps from the new roll of paper. Load the new roll onto the feed roll bar, ensuring that the paper will unroll in the correct direction. For the plotter at the Fashion Lab, the paper should unroll towards the back of the machine. These rolls of paper are heavy, so the easiest way to ensure the end caps have a good grip on the roll is to stand the feed roll bar up and push the roll down. Then add the end cap you removed and tighten the handle by turning clockwise. With the help of a friend, Remount the feed roll bar to the plotter. Using scissors or an X-Acto knife, cut through the labels using minimal force. Cutting through more than a couple of layers can cause several yards of paper waste. For this next part, make sure the plotter is turned on. Using the control panel, push the menu button. Using the arrow keys, scroll to paper and use the enter button to select. Scroll up to advance paper. Leaving it on this setting will allow you to pull the paper through more easily. Now, make sure the nip bar lever is up. Pull the plotter away from the wall so you can kneel comfortably behind it. With a tight grip on the end of the paper, pull it towards you, making sure to go over the middle divider. Every time you push on the back bar, it will advance more paper. Feed the end of the paper under the pinch rollers. The back bar should be visible from the front of the plotter, otherwise it will not trigger while printing. With the help of a friend, carefully pull paper under the pinch rollers until you can grip it properly on the front side of the plotter. You will need enough slack to go under the middle bar. Check to make sure your paper is lined up to the zero on the edge guide. You may need to shift the roll of paper left or right. Once everything is in the right place, you can remount the take-up bar. Using masking tape, Tape the end of the paper to the take-up lever, making sure to go under the middle bar. The paper will roll towards the back of the machine. Start by taping the center and then the two ends to ensure the paper is laying straight. Push the plotter back into place. After you lower the nip bar lever, you can run a test print. 